Hello dear Udoers and welcome to this new tutorial on analytic accounting. Udo's analytic accounting empowers business to monitor and analyze their cash flow by individual projects or departments, providing an in-depth comprehension of spending and revenues. Detailed insights can aid companies in budgeting, forecasting and making informed decisions. That's really great. It sounds really cool for my company, but I'm scared it will be too complicated. Oh no, no, it's super easy. Let me show you how easy it is in Udo. So to start with, um, let's go and dive into the configuration and the settings of accounting. Let's search for the analytic settings because first of all, we need to activate it for sure. So select the analytic accounting and save. You will see now that in the configuration menu, you have um, several new options that are activated. So you have the distribution models. We're going to discuss them at the end, the analytic accounts, but we're going to start with the plans because you can have different plans, different dimensions with different analytic accounts in order to follow up on analytic account. So let's start with the analytic plans. We don't have any plans over here. We're going to create the first one on clicking on the new button. I want to follow up on analytic accounting in two dimensions, let's say. The first one is about the region, on different regions in the world, um, and the other one is maybe about the departments. So first of all, we're going to create one for region. So give it a name, give a name to the plan. So what can we see over here? First of all, you have a default applicability. So basically, it's on all the plan, eh? and we can dive later into more specific uh, configuration. So first of all, I have the option to hide it, uh, so to make it uh, unavailable, so that basically you will not be able to fill it in. Um, we can make it optional, so that basically you can choose to fill it in, but you will not be blocked while creating the entry. Or you can make it mandatory, so that every time you create an uh, accounting entry, it is mandatory. So most of the time, let's go for optional in a general way, because in the detailed lines over here, I can dive in more specific. So for example, I can say, in general, the region is optional, but for example, for my vendor bills, I want it to be completely mandatory. So that if I create a sales invoice, it's optional. If I create a vendor bill, it's mandatory. And then I can even dive even further and say it's only mandatory for, for example, some financials account, um, a revenue account that starts with um, a prefix or for specific product categories, but it's maybe already a little bit too advanced. Let's just go for optional uh, and make it mandatory for the vendor bills. You can click on save, but remember we have the auto save um, that is activated as from Odoo 16. So now that we have the plan, we can add some analytic accounts to the plan. So just click on analytic accounts over here and create some. So we're creating now um, for the region. So I'm going to create a um, region in Europe, for example, um, and I'm going to create one for the US. Just limit it to two, for example. You can create, of course, as many as you want. And they are now linked to the plan. If you go back to the region, you can see that we have now two analytic accounts created. I want to create a second plan, uh, like I mentioned before, not only the region, but also the department. So let's create another one for departments. Also this one, I'm going to leave it completely optional. Um, and let's create three departments as well. So for example, uh, finance, uh, marketing, and sales. And that's it. Your setup is done. We have the plans with different analytic accounts. So let's dive back to the dashboard and create a vendor bill now. So let's click on create it manually. Of course, you can use the OCR, etc. We're going to make it easy here and just create one um, ourselves. So just select the uh, supplier and create the first line. You can see that the analytic accounting is part, one of the columns on your invoice lines. If you don't see the column, don't worry, it might be hidden because you as a user have the, uh, the possibility to define your preferences. If you want those columns to be visible or not, you can define it over here. So if you don't want the analytic, you can just hide it over here or put it back. Okay, so first line is, for example, for services. Now, as from the moment that you click on the analytic um, column, you will see which ones are mandatory and which ones are optional. Remember, the region, we made it mandatory for vulnerabilities, so you can see that it's not okay right now. Um, it's red. We need to fill it in. So click on the Add Line button, and if we click over here, we can see the different values, the different analytic accounts that are available. 
So let's select Europe, for example. I can have 100% distribution or I can define um, a distribution percentage. So for example, 30% for Europe and let's say 70% uh, for the US. Now, of course, you can imagine that it's a lot of time to put it every time over and over again. Well, don't worry because as from the moment that you're done, let's say that the department, you can see it's, it's, it's not mandatory, but it's optional, I can fill it in. Let's go for finance uh, for this one. You can save it eh, in order to, let's say, do it only once and every time it will be filled in, pre-filled in based upon your preferences. So if you're done, ju just click on the save button. You will see that all the analytic values are taken over and here you can define the KPIs um, that will taken that will be taken into consideration for the default values. I used the paper supplier, so let's see that if, uh, every time that I use the paper supplier, I want those values to be filled in. Just save and close, and you're done. So as from the moment that we create a new line, you can see that they are now immediately defaulted because it's a new line on um, the supplier. I'm going to leave it up to one line over here and just confirm the vendor bill. So, of course, you could have this warning because the bill date is mandatory as well for a vendor bill, so just fill it in. If you use the OCR, it's of course pre-filled. Confirm it and you're done. And just by creating the accounting entry, all the analytic entries are created as well. So where can you find them? If you go to the accounting menu, you will see that you have all general accounting over here, but you also have the analytic items. Everything starts from here. If you click over there, you will see that they are regrouped by uh, analytic account. So you have the possibility, of course, uh, to play a little bit with the group bytes. If you don't want them to be grouped by analytic account, you can change it over here. Uh, for example, start by plan and then by analytic account so that you have the possibility <coughs> to see what accounts are linked to what uh, different plan. Um, this is a list view, uh, of course, maybe to end with, um, if you have a lot of entries, um, I would suggest you uh, to take the pivot table because this one is way more easy um, to create a default uh, reporting, let's say, per department and you might, uh, for example, um, obtain a monthly overview over here and define some different measures, only the amount, not the quantity, so that basically you will have on a monthly basis your analytic um, reporting um, based upon the different plans and the different analytic accounts. So that was it for me. Um, Chiara, was it so difficult after all? You were right, Milan. It's really easy. Thanks to Odoo. Great. Nice to hear that, Chiara. Um, so, well, that was it for analytic accounting. See you next time.